I followed my father's footsteps. Um, my father taught me math and got me curious about it at a younger age, you know, when I was seven and eight. And, and I've always been into, into the numbers uh, in, in a younger age. And then it was trivial that I would go to study engineering and physics. It's where the knowledge is now. I mean, if you think about it, the world has changed so much, you don't need me to say it. I mean, think about how fast things are changing and you, you can be a part of that and you can understand that, but you can also take that and do something else with it and design something else with it. I had a really short haircut that was terrible for me. And when I did, I started using flat irons and I learned that the patent for a flat iron was first filed in 1909 and I thought something needs to be done better and faster here, so. I was very lucky to start a company and uh, design my own product and also mix my worlds in which it's a sort of a beauty tech company, so it's, I, I'm in a woman's world again. I think it's a great career for a lot of people who are females and males, but to learn that women are not there, I think the fact that it's, it's a difficult profession to learn doesn't mean that it's not a very rewarding profession to work in. I've been through the, the boot camp of engineering and physics, and to be able to study physics and engineering, it's sort of licensed to think, because you have these fundamental understanding of how some things work. And I think engineering really gives you the confidence to think about these ideas because it gives you the technician and technology behind a lot of other ideas and you can then understand that they have been created by people. Because if I introduce you to the iPhone, you say, this is a nice black box, but you have no idea how it works. You need to go through the steps. And, but once you do, you understand how it works and it can open your mind.